Hey, what's up guys? It's Steel from Fino Concept. So I created an Instagram reel and it got some attraction with regards to how I created it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did all of this in Adobe Photoshop without any third party plugin. Yes, you heard it right, Adobe Photoshop, not Premiere Pro, not After Effects. So let's get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now to make this work, you actually need two videos. So I have two videos in here that are shot of myself. So one, one of them is of a screen recording. As you can see, this is me editing a particular picture. Then this is also me in, in the vertical form because I wanted to put it on YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. And it is the exact same video. So one is from the camera and one is a screen recording. So let's just quit that up. So let's open up Photoshop and add in those two files. Now I actually click and drag the vertical video in here so that Photoshop takes it a proportion. I wouldn't have to create it myself. Now over here, you can see that the video is actually turned to the side because I shot it vertically. So I'll go to image and adjust it or rotate it right around here. I think clockwise, 90 degree clockwise. Yes, so like this. Then I'll also import in the other video, which is going to be on top of it. So to do that, go down here, click on this icon right here and add in a new media. So I'll click on that and this is going to ask where that media is. So in my case, it is in video and it is in delete. So I put it in delete because after editing, I have to delete this video. So as you can see, the video is added here at the bottom here. Let me mute this because there's some sound playing. So what I'll do is I'll just click and drag this outside the video group so that I have two different video groups and I'll place this right around here. Now the idea is to match. This is where Prima Pro or After Effects would have been handy because you can match the sound in the video. But in this case, uh, since we are using Photoshop, I just have to check where exactly I have to make the clip meet. So as you can see, I'm sitting in right here. So right around here, I'll just click and drag. I want my video to start at that particular place. So if I view the video, I can see that the image changes right here. So right over here. I'll actually cut it out because I want to match it exactly where I picked it up. So let's go to the video overlay and see where exactly the clip also changed. So it was starting from a bigger picture. Let me see. Perfect. So this is where the cut comes in right around the next frame. So let's go to the next frame. As you can see, I actually started with the video recording before I grabbed my camera to do this. So right around here is where I'm going to cut the second video. So I don't need this anymore. I can go ahead and delete it. Select that layer and hit delete on your keyboard. So I'll bring this to the beginning so that they can all start at the same exact time. So let's click, let's select both of them and bring them to the beginning. Now I don't need this whole bunch. So I'll probably just cut this part out and cut that part out as well. Like I said, just some portions that we need. So just these two is fine. Now, this is where the magic happens. We want to just select this particular area. As you can see, it is a screen recording. So because of that, the entire screen or of the video is here. If I minimize it, you can see I have the entire screen, which is not something we want. We just want some part of it. So that is going to be just this screen portion. It's still zoomed in, so I can't really let, let's minimize this a bit. So right around here, see how that is looking like. Okay, so we, if I zoom in, this is the part that I need. So I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'll create a selection around the area that I am interested in, which is right around here. So once I have that with the screen recording layer selected, I'll just click on layer mask and it is max, masking that particular area, just that area for us. So I'll place that right over here, right on top of my screen like so. So with the move tool still active, this is where I'm going to try and align it to make it suit what the screen is also doing. 
So I'll just hold down the control key, bring the cursor right over at the corner, and you notice that it changes to this white arrow. And I'll just click and drag something like this. Do the exact same thing somewhere around here. Maybe stretch it out to the top. Just manipulate it to make it seem like it is warping out of the screen like so. Then once I have this, I'll just reduce the opacity or in my case, I just change the blend mode. I believe it was soft light or lighten. I use one of these and voila. So if I zoom out, this is what we have. You can see the video is playing in like so. Then the animation is also ongoing up here like that. Now, in your case, you have to make sure that they are aligning perfectly. This is a tutorial, so I'm not really going too much into detail or making it so perfect like what I did initially. Also, I don't know what video you are using for your screen recording, so you may have to change it from lighting to soft light, or probably um, you keep it at normal and just reduce the opacity right around here. So whichever one works for you, that is what you have to go with. Once you're done, just go to File, go to Export, and click on render video then just click on render video and you are done basically that is how i created this effect in adobe photoshop anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one